What's good people and welcome back to Quacks TV, the number one show in the world, in the galaxy, in the universe, wherever you're going to find it, you'll find Quacks TV and it'll always be number one. Thank you for watching, let's get into it. So, yet again, we're going to start off the cringe, boring, out of characterish kind of stuff. But just want to say again, to all my new viewers and subs, and especially those giving me feedback and such encouragement, you're all absolute idolos. And I mean... You are Pablo Hernandez level idolos. You make him quake in your wake. I eventually plan on expanding out into loads of things like games with my mates, random playthroughs or whatever I'm playing. But I still hope I'm able to entertain you all the same. At the end of the day, my goal is to brighten up people's day. And if I can even make one of you give me a pity laugh, goal achieved. Anyway, again, safe for all of that, and please, if you have any ideas for a series or games you'd like to see me play, just let me know. I'm already planning a Minecraft series and eventually a bit of GTA Chaos mod. Sorry, no, my team at the moment, I'd rather grate my own eyebrows out. Anyway, back into character. Let's get the show on the goddamn road. Leeds Chelsea, the manly men in white versus the blue ball in rent boys. My god, what an oxymoron. Getting straight into it, and aren't you boys lucky? Quackers is out of bed for an FA Cup game. Didn't call Ref Pagan to get out. I mean, I didn't randomly get targeted for a touchline ban. Here we go. And as you see, it should have been a perfect start. But unfortunately for us, Tyler Roberts is so bad at finishing. The club literally hired Riley Reid to help. And he was still so bad and pathetic, she gave us a refund. And it was an expensive one. Oh no, though, boys. What is this? Is it the Melier from the penalty spot? Oh boy, howdy. You know we had to do it to him. The referees finally off our back. Finally giving us a decision. Literally the first penalty in six months. We've been getting mugged off all year. But look at you now. We get one penalty. The tail's up. Captain Jackie is still a massive bottle job. But anyway, we come again. It's party Marty. It's a beautiful bit of fitba. It's a one-two. Surely... Decent save to be fair. Chelsea, they come forward, they're desperate. And goddamn am I happy that I didn't insult Timo Werner at the start of the season because that would be really awkward right now, wouldn't it? The tramping little pricks. Chelsea come forward again, but this is why we give Melier the penalties. We get his tail up early. He's going to keep us in this. We are fine. We are just about fine. But you know what? Goal kick, minute and 30 left, 45 on the clock. We know what happens around that in the 45th minute, don't we, boys? We know it's goal time. And Quackers has learned to play out of the back. And when Quack... Oh, it's Tyler Roberts. My God. The guy, the guy actually found a way to score. All he had to do was hit really meekly at the goalkeeper and get the rebound. I, I wouldn't to say that was planned, but no, he's just that bad a finisher. We keep the Melier in goal. Chelsea getting desperate. Oh no. Ah. Well, that's not ideal, really. Oh my god, smack my face and call me Sally. We actually get another referee's decision. Boys, I promise you, this isn't a glitch. This isn't a made up April Fool's Day joke that I'm putting up here. We're actually getting referee's decisions. And we come again. It's party Marty. Had to let the keeper know he's in the game there, to be fair. And this is why. Because eventually, party Marty gets through. Oh, my days. With a goal so sexy, it would make the Pope rethink and his foul celibacy. <laughs> that is the boy. As we say, the party never ends. 3-1 to the boys. Chelsea sent packing. Someone's going to have a pretty shite Christmas because Chelsea have all been wrapped up and sent away. But maybe I'm I'm not going to speak too soon because we have them again. This time at the Quack... I mean, not the Quackers Dome. Ellen Road. Quackers Dome rights pending. Anyway, absolutely buzzing for this. Let's get up them. First team out, Chelsea could barely handle our youth. Let's see them try and handle Rodrigo, Patty Banff and Big El Jefe Bundia. 
As you can see, the Leeds fans are excited for this one, walking in very gingerly, to be honest. They don't seem particularly happy to be here. But anyway, Chelsea come forward. But don't you worry. We've got the big, big Benny White in defence. And we steam on through Rodrigo. Beautiful run. Bends it perfectly behind the defence. Drives on through. Benny Chilwell, you better be careful. Oh. This is why, though. Helder Costa, Helder Costa, Benny Chew, are you there? Oh, don't Again. get me f***ing started. Don't get me f***ing started. That left, that side, which he's supposed to be covering, he wasn't you doing his job. that one, Benny. And I'm going to say it again. If you're going to play, you're going to do your f***ing Melier job. steps up I'm again. Sick of it. Can he make it I'm two and two? Can he, he be our top goal scorer for the episode? What supposed to do? Why is he even in that team? Sending it down the left. You know, though. These computer keepers, they're tricky. You can't be holding it one direction. Oh, he sent him the wrong way. Our keeper is sending other keepers the wrong way. What am I watching? Unbelievable. I'm not going to lie, he did get mugged during this exchange with the fans, so that wasn't ideal, but you know, we move on. 1 0 to the boys. We can't stop there. We've already seen it. All Chelsea can do is attack because they ain't particularly good at defending. So we better march on forward again. Held Costa smashes it in. <sighs> anyway, moving swiftly on, we come forward. Oh no, Chelsea. Chelsea actually getting attacked, boys. Chelsea feeling a bit cheeky. Feeling that power running through their bones. Feeling like getting one back on the leads. But it doesn't matter with efforts like that, does it, boys? But Kayo, the star boy. Gets it for 2 0. Yes. Let's fucking go. Pick that one out from the Kepa. Why why are we not celebrating? Oh my god, he missed. I I have no words. I genuinely have no words for this. What in the hell have I just watched? You're not you're no longer Captain Planet Calvin, I'm sorry. You're not even a private. You've been you've been dishonorably just shot after that one. Rodrigo through though. You know that's easy. <sighs> You guys ever have your strike and miss a sitter and you just like, you just want to wait outside the quad? I, I, no, I don't care what we scored. I'm going off of this. Screw Saka, you beautiful bastard. You just want to wait outside the Quackers Dome for him to arrive and get into his Aston Martin. Then grab him with his chicken neck and choke him until the lights go out in his dark green Spanish eyes. Me neither, man. Me neither. Definitely don't want to smack Bamford in the face either after that one. Oh, surely, ref, send him off. Send him off. I'm sorry, that's disgraceful. He's literally stuck his finger up his... Oh, come on. I don't know what I'm watching at this point. The refs just don't like us. I don't think we've had a decision in our favour all year. Ridiculous. Ridiculous, I say. I'm getting bored of it. Lucky for us, Saka may look like a good dude who shoes, but my God, when he sniffs a hole, and I mean... I mean a goal, not a hole. Sorry, that is my bad. That, was awful. that boy is lethal. But anyway, one more cup game. You hadn't had any at the start of the season. Now you're getting two in one episode. You boys can thank me later. As you see, Calvin's been demoted. Finishing like that. Now, mate, you're a centre-back now. And I'm going to be honest, boys. After that Chelsea game, I'm feeling something about this cup, you know. I'm feeling we might be in this. We've already knocked out one of the big boys. We might not be able to win the league still, but the march for the FA Cup, it's already begun. Let's see if we can pick up some steam by absolutely battering West Ham. There's the star boy driving down the wing. It's a beautiful bit of play with Big Gabby. That is why. That is why you love Pablo. That, people, is exactly why we hate Tyler Roberts. Can I get a hate Tyler Roberts spam in the chat? Yeah, I'm acting like we're on Twitch. That's how much I hate him. He's turned me into a streamer. I don't want to do YouTube anymore. I'm joking about that. West Ham are so cocky, they're literally booing it out off our players' heads. I mean, I don't even know what to think at this point. Anyway, 27 minutes in. Tight game. Should definitely be leading. But for some reason, Quack has picked Tyler Roberts again. Not quite sure why. Maybe for passes like that. Gabby Parton Martinelli. Party never ends. Unreal. Unreal. Cool harvesters, boys, because they got competition for the number one roadman carvery in England. 
because that West Ham just got sliced apart. My God, my jokes are so awful, I even make myself cringe. Anyway, West Ham trying to get back into it. New signing, Dusan Vlahovic. Am I watching all my team? I actually might be, to be honest. Suck on my long skinny toe, you backwash drinking, pucker pie face stuffing nonces. Who's chipping an open goal? Oh my god. Should be an instant reply, but Captain Jack. I'm going to pretend it definitely wasn't Pablo because Pablo had never let me down. Absolute bottle job. Gabby Martinelli, beautiful bit of play though. Surely Tyler. All right, so I guess Tyler Roberts is going to take a trip down to Stoke. Luckily for us though, we fight for it back and one of our strikers can finish. I don't know why I still play Tyler, but anyway... West Ham come forward, big four nows, whips it, but don't you worry, big Melier in net, absolutely no problems lads, no problems, and we march on forward, please, some, do not press that ball quackers, oh god, oh fuck, I can't believe you've done this, I genuinely have never felt as emasculated as this prick's last two goals, like I've had, XXX Jimmy banged your mother, told me my, my nan was licking his ear hole clean, and I still felt like more of a man. Boys, you better freaking make me get up for it, because I am feeling sort of, oh my god, you. I actually thought that was in, but I forgot we were playing FIFA and long shots don't exist. God damn it. Anyway, 90th minute leads... leads on the brink of elimination. Good bloody defending boys. So we go into extra time. Leeds actually struggling against West Ham. But we got the big man in there, so we're all right. Michael Lee say, march us through. Just shoot, lad. Just shoot. You're not a bloody baby. Just shoot. I don't know what's worse. The fact he wouldn't shoot there or the fact he actually passed it to Tyler Roberts. I heard an audible sigh of relief in the stadium, and I'm not exaggerating, when Tyler Roberts got that ball. Oh, God. Please, just get out. Oh, no, Suchich, isn't it? You know, I want to be real and point out that the realism of Suchich scoring a header winning West Ham a game. Then you see Moisey sprinting down the touchline, shouting, take that, Calvin Phillips, you Benjot. And I can't help but feel like a seven-year-old running on pure my daughter gets passed around by footballer's energy. May not be the best look for EA. You may want to make David Moyes a bit manly than that EA, to be honest, because it comes off as a bit desperate. That's just me, though. I would know a lot about being desperate, though. going to be honest. Anyway, 3-2. There's still time on the board, boys. we still got a chance to fight for this. Come on. Good football. Gets it in, Michael Elise, oh, what a turn. Mate, Elise's right foot is so bad, it's is so bad. It's about as pointless as a condom in my wallet. This deck. It ain't I getting used, and even when you finally get to start getting used, you know for damn sure he's going to bottle it. Yes, that Yu-Gi-Oh meme was on point, and I, will thank, I thank all of you for your great appreciation of it. I know, amazing. As we come through, though, you can see there's no time left. West Ham, they've wrapped it up. Yeah. Again, I'm sorry for my voice. I didn't realise how rough this commentary gig would be. That'll be an end to the episode, boys. I hope you liked it. I I was buzzing making it for you, especially with all the new feedback. It just makes me want to keep going. And that is why, boys, if we can hit 10 likes on this video, Monday... Two episode career mode, end of season special, just for you cheeky lads, just for you handsome lot. Hit 10 likes on this video and you know it, two episodes career mode in one day. I know, I'm just that generous. Anyway, as you can see the propaganda's already running, so I will too. See you around.